What is up, YouTube? So today I wanted to talk to you guys about something. Um, everybody who knows me knows I'm a bit of a techie person. Um, I actually just started doing some things uh, to to do some better editing on my videos. Deciding between a few programs right now, but today I wanted to talk to you about three things. So you hey, three things. So in the PC market. And by PC, I don't mean the traditional PC versus MacBook debate. I mean the uh, the actual like personal computer. There's three three um, big dogs in the market, I should say. Now we're not counting the Android-based tablets or the tablet PCs that are detachable. I have one, one of those. We're not counting those. We're going to count only the actual personal computers like clamshell design, um, stuff like that. You have a PC, the Windows. This is a Windows 10 HP Stream. Okay. Um, which I like 7, didn't like 8. Then they went to 10. Uh, I guess they forgot 9, but... Um, you have... This is the sub-$200 range. It's like a netbook. Notebook. I actually have smaller than this. Uh, so I wouldn't really consider this a netbook. But... So here you're going to have your Kensington lock. You have your USB cable. Um, you have your VGA micro USB input um, another USB this is the USB 3.0 and your AC your power this right here is a solid state drive computer so it doesn't have any fans or anything it's by solid state the speakers are here on the bottom so they are bottom firing speakers which doesn't really affect the sound too much actually and I'll show you right now uh, we'll go to what kind of video do we want to go to? First of all, we're going to open Chrome. And while... the fuck is this? Oh. Alright, hold on. Clear this off the screen here. Now, this is a Windows 10 computer. And actually, you know what? We're not going to worry about the speakers because it's not really a product review. It's more of a comparison between the three different things. So you have something like this, the sub $200 range. Now, this is uh, this does work with my type of Wi-Fi, 802.11. Um, then you have the other big dog. And for all the people that say I'm a grocery bagger, like D-Town and everybody, I wouldn't be able to afford this if I was. But You have the 2015 um, MacBook Pro. Now this here is designed for more of aesthetics. Um, now there is a little bit of damage done to this, but it's designed mostly for aesthetics. It's a decent, it's a decent MacBook. Um, the, I like, uh, I mean, they're not bad, but, I mean, it's a MacBook. It's, they got the aluminum chassis, and it's, um, it's a unibody, so this is the one with the retina display. That's a, you know, and they're a pretty decent computer. Now, this has a little bit of damage done to it, but whatever. It it was a, it's a decent computer. These are on the bit of a better like. These are a bit on the pricey side, is what I'm trying to say. This one. Um, when you first got it, it was like fourteen ninety nine when I first got it. But you get what you get. I mean, you have really good editing software here. 
Um, now here you're going to have a USB, a VGA, a micro USB input, but you have to have an adapter for it, which I do. The MagSafe, Kensington, no, that's the Firewire, the um, audio input or out, get put, and one USB port on that side and one on this side. Now, these are more for, for like uh, video editing and stuff, and now don't get me wrong, this, these are sleek, these are good looking computers, they're, they're good. They're not worth the price. Okay, so you're going to pay upwards of a thousand dollars for this. You pay upwards of a thousand dollars for it. Now, then you're gonna have this one. Okay. This right here is a Chromebook. It's made by Samsung. It's a little beat up. It is a unibody chassis. Um, it's seen better days, definitely. But the cool thing about a Chromebook is, and this is really what I want the video to be about, the cool thing about a Chromebook is everything lives in the cloud. So when I leave the house, this is what I take with me. If I need to take notes, you have Google Docs. If something happens to this, which, I mean, you can't do video editing on this, but if something does happen to this, it's a hundred, hundred and fifty, two hundred bucks versus two fifty or thousand plus. Now each one of these now this you're not gonna have you're not gonna be able to game on this. You're not gonna have um Oh Chiefs are catching up, fourteen to seven at halftime. You're not gonna be able to game on this. You're not going to run H D video. It's just not gonna work. It, that, it, that's not what these are for. These are for basic light web browsing. But they work. They're good. They're dependable. So if you want something that is graphic intensive, or if you're doing something that is graphic intensive, go ahead and get the MacBook. Go ahead and get it. Because that's what you're going to need. This by far has the best graphics uh, GPU, or the best graphics processing unit that I have in any of these laptops. And I have more laptops. The only one that has a better GPU is my Toshiba back there. But for for just light web browsing, for just something to look at the internet, or, uh, you know, it's got a webcam, point, shoot, make a video real quick. I don't really think that you can go wrong with the uh, the Chromebook. Now they have bigger Chromebooks. They have smaller ones. I have a bigger one back there charging. In case you're wondering how many computers I have, I have a MacBook. I have two. No, I have a MacBook Pro, a MacBook, um, a Dell Chromebook, the Samsung Chromebook, the Asus Chromebook back there, um, the my Toshiba, my HP Stream. And my Asus 1005H, which is a little seven-inch computer, um, and they range everything from from El Capitan. Well, actually, both MacBooks have El Capitan, um, and then the Windows ones are anything from seven to well, they have seven or ten. I don't have eight because I don't like eight. And the Chromebooks, I mean, they all have Chrome. That's all they are. A lot of people buy these these Chromebooks thinking that they're a computer. They're I mean they're a personal computer, yes, but they're not meant to be a Mac or PC replacement. They're simply just meant to be something to pick up. They're basically like a tablet with a built-in keyboard. That's basically what they are. So that's my opinion on it. Um, all around, what I prefer. I have actually a Chromebook. This is what I do most of my recording on. This is what I do most of my web browsing on. Because, um, for the price, 
I mean, most of my stuff is light web browsing anyway. So, it, it's just the best value for for someone who doesn't like do professional editing. Um, I used to be really, really good at editing. editing. Um, some softwares have changed, and I'm getting used to the two softwares that I'm looking at, other than, um, what's the name of the other I don't remember the name of the other one that's on my computer. And then I have the uh, compact back there, the CQ57. Um, but the... Woohoo, meet the Mets. The Mets won. I, you're probably not watching this video this far in, but Mets won. Anyway, um, uh, for all in all, Chromebooks are the way to go. You just have to understand that they are not Mac or PC replacements. They are a standalone browser, basically, with a built-in keyboard on a tablet. Later.